Welcome to episode one, guys. We are playing Stubbs the Zombie, and this is the start of the game. I'm gonna use that starting as a new start instead of writing Finn plays Halo. So this is the start of the game. I decide that I'll do this because not many people have done this game. I did a test run just before, that's why this is the same. And this is me failing to spell. I was like trying to type through. <laughs> and then the H didn't fit. I'm like, ah. Oh. It's 11 letters. So I'm just like, okay, let's play. And I was gonna put a smiley face, that didn't work. It's like, ah, oh, whatever. So let's start. And we are starting the game. I'll stay quiet in the cutscene so you guys can listen. Most of the time. Dateline, Pennsylvania, where one Hello. city has entered the 21st century 50 years ahead of schedule. Welcome to Punchbowl, a city built for the space age. Here in Punchbowl, experimental science and state-of-the-art technology create a futuristic paradise the likes of which have never been seen. This is a city unlike any other, free of crime, pollution, poverty, and other urban blights. Menial labor is a thing of the past, thanks to all the robots who keep Punchbowl running like clockwork. People can't stop talking about it, and why should they? Punchbowl is a model of good old American ingenuity. Much of it developed by famed scientist Dr. Herman Watt. We have not. Now a naturalized American citizen working for the good guys. But who's funding this fantastic foray into futurism? Why, none other than billionaire playboy industrialist Andrew Monday. America's favorite rags to riches story is the visionary who's calling the shots in this town. At the grand opening ceremony this morning, the world's richest man had this to say. Here in Punchbowl, for the first time in human history, life is what it was meant to be, free of all unpleasantness. Why, someday the entire world will be like Punchbowl, but for now, it stands alone, a beacon of purity and human potential in a world of social upheaval and moral turpitude. Bold words from a bold man. But perhaps the only thing more unlikely than this orphan's rise to fame and fortune is the city he's built, where everyone is invited to drink their fill of the future, and no one has a care in the world. Here comes me. Oh my goodness! Get your hands off my weenie! <laughs> morning. Is everything okay? He stole my hot dog! Well, that wasn't very nice. Stealing isn't allowed in Punch Bowl. You'll have to give it back. Oh. Pimp style. If you'd like something to eat, I can show you one of Punch Bowl's many fine dining establishments. Yeah, go eat something else, jerk. Go on, get out of here! <laughs> now, the tutorial he shall stole commence. my hot dog! Looks like he's having some kind of brain seizure. We'd better find some way of relieving the pressure in his head. Oh, God! Oh. Not like this! Did yeah. You just see someone wow, see you someone sure calm him brain? down. He's not even twitching anymore. Mm. Mm. I'm angry. Oh, silly me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm a guide bot here to provide any information you might need during your stay in our fair yes, city. Yes, yes. Would you like the full tour? No. Oh, come on. I can tell by the look on your face. You're gonna love Punch Bowl. Follow yep. me. Can it eat all their so brains? Love how he I'm runs. I've got a whole data tape filled with 640 kilobytes of fun facts about Punch Bowl. It'll take us a few hours to get through the whole thing. Why don't we just walk this out of it? <laughs> I decided to just oh eat God. people instead of following him. My brain! And for people, if you want to know, this was made on the Halo 1 engine. That's why it's a bit... Square. You get around pretty well for someone with a gaping hole in his stomach. If you like, we can visit Punchbowl General Hospital and have that looked at. Oh, but there's so much Just to see. Just taking first. a closer Hello. look at my stomach hole. There's a name on the roof. Suddenly. Started beat this. Good morning, officers. Be quiet, Godbot. All right, buddy. You're coming with us. 
But officer, we just started the tour. The tour's over. We don't want a sick bum in an ugly tie walking around on opening day stinking up the place. Nor do we actually want to touch that guy. Ugh. Exactly. So we're just going to stand here nice and quiet. And you are going to get in the back of the squad car. And we'll all be happy. Well, I won't be happy. We're waiting. Tap, tap, tap. I guess you don't have I was testing choice. if I could eat in front of them. I'm trusting you to do the right like, hey. thing. Ah, uh, just keep eating. Breathe. Hey, we don't have. Wait. I love the blood hey. effects. It just sprays everywhere. What the? So to kick the car a bit. But I was actually kicking his arm or head or something. I think it was his arm. Freeze! Don't move! You're surrounded! What is it? Oh, I see. You've got gas. I'll just head over here for a minute. Will you, uh, relieve the pressure? This is unholy flatulence. Right, buddy, going where I can see it. <laughs> and it's awesome. My stole my kill. I was like, ah. Oh. Have you thought about changing your Keep the car, I guess that's melee in Halo, I guess. Oh, we'll push never get anywhere unless you push those fellas out of the way. Walk up behind one of them. Now give them a gentle wonderful. Now we can push them towards the, the other side of town. I've got a zombie horde I'm controlling. This is great. I'm powerful and amazing. Like, you call your new friends over? This First part is the coolest feature. Still and transfix them with your steely gaze. For some reason it wasn't doing it while I was looking standing next to it, so I was like, okay. So I moved away. Oh, that had to come up, I'm guessing. So, yeah. Now purse those lips and whistle. <laughs> well done. They're okay. heading right over. Controlling my zombies. My zombie. Now, we still have a lot to see. And I don't want you collapsing of exhaustion before the tour ends. So if you feel tired or winded or in agonizing pain because someone just ran up and slugged you for no reason. <laughs> you wonder if she does that to humans, breaks her face. Then feel free to take a few seconds to relax and recuperate. You'll feel much better after a few deep breaths. All right? Excellent. Yay. I'll be over by the gate when you're ready to tour the grease. Whoa. Push that greaser out of the way. <laughs> Come inside. Oh no, they decide to run off in a different direction. It's a huge place. Now I'm in control, and that's when the tutorial ends. So I've got the unholy flashlights. At the moment, I'm gonna pounce on people. I love like some of the the things they say when you're biting them or when you rip their arm off. Like it's like that's my favorite arm. How could you have a favorite arm? Yeah. Now the police are over on those stairs, so I've got to go take them out. And normally when you get shot, eating brains regenerates some health, so you can feel fine. I'm gonna use my unholy flashlights to get them. What if the blood like fades away? I oh, see. <laughs> so that was my second favorite arm. See, we're already having fun already. This this game is gonna be awesome. And you're gonna watch if you want to watch through to the end. To see if you how to complete the game. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, if you couldn't remember, this game's on normal because it's it's all right. It's still it's still a little bit of hard in there and there. I want an easy run more than a, a difficult.
crap run of playing this game where I keep dying. I just want to have one where it's a bit challenging and also fun driving around. Yeah. So let's go down to the monorail. I think as soon as you get off that platform, they start to shoot you. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, my brain. It's not just one. <laughs> I'm bringing you in. <laughs> this game's awesome. I gotta get some brains and call my zombies over. Who the hell's screaming? I'll show you what for! Stop eating me! <laughs> I'm also tempted to keep. Oh, wait, cutscene. Need to make a quick getaway? The punch ball monorail is the best way to get around the city. This episode has the most cutscenes. But don't worry, the next one's real gameplay and talking. I just prefer to be quiet while talk while cutscenes and people talking because sometimes people can hear it. This is the chief! What the hell is going on out there? You would not believe the calls we're getting at the station! Help me! Help me! Something's trying to eat my brain! Sounds like a sick dog or something. You boys better lock things down pronto! Mr. Monday wants everything perfect today! Master is out! Anyone else out of bullets? Yep. <laughs> Go, my zombies. Please keep clear of the track. <laughs> Welcome to the, the Fertile train. Crescent Bio, where mm. the grass is always greener. Today at the world's most advanced greenhouse, meet me, Maggie Monday. Some folks go for cantaloupe. Is everything cantaloupe satisfactory, Miss Monday? Yes, Sonny. Uh, sure you don't need anything? Uh, a cold drink? Uh, no. Uh, cigarette? No. Foot massage? Oh, I'm... what? Uh, nothing. Uh, never mind. You're a nice man, Mr. Skegness, but don't you have better things to do than make passes at your employer's mother? I'm just doing my job, Miss Monday. Andrew asked me to look after you, and I'm going to make sure uh, nothing unseemly happens on this... Uh, Wonderful, uh, <laughs> fabulous, sunny, huge eyes up here. Day. What a pimp. Oh yeah, this is probably gonna be the cut for my next episode. The next one will be all gameplay, and enjoy the the, the first episode. I hope you guys did, and I hope you guys think to play this game yourself. It's awesome. So thanks for watching, guys, and. I will see you in the next episode. Hit subscribe and comment in the comment section below on what you think of this. Thanks guys. Peace.